are bringing you to Acme Car Company to learn about the manufacturing of Varian buggies. We are here with John Mickle, the president of Acme Car Company, to talk about the manufacturing of Varian buggies. After Bruce Myers invented the dune buggy, the original Myers Manx, and the whole hobby kind of took off. And in the 70s, into the 80s, there were hundreds of manufacturers, all different varieties and shapes, and it seems like almost everybody had to have a dune buggy. Then it kind of lost its glow for a while, and the, and the whole industry shrank. Now it seems like we're, we have a resurgence. We believe that dune buggies are on the way back. They'll probably never be as wildly popular as they were in the 70s or 80s, but they're a neat, fun car to drive. We manufacture the chassis, the bodies, and sell all the parts necessary to put a dune buggy together. We also can build buggies if somebody wants a complete buggy, but this hobby of dune buggies is mainly a do-it-yourself hobby, and most of our customers prefer to build the buggies themselves. They start usually by finding an old Volkswagen, tearing it apart and getting the running gear to build their buggy. Then we'll sell them a frame. Traditionally, in the old days, dune buggies were built on a remanufactured and shortened Volkswagen chassis, but the newest Volkswagen chassis you could possibly buy is over 50 years old. They were becoming short in supply, and as most of us older folks know, when you get over 50, things just get a little shakier. So, Varian introduced a steel tube chassis that you can put underneath a dune buggy, but still use all of the stock Volkswagen parts. So typically, a customer of ours will purchase the chassis first, take their parts off their Volkswagen and put the engine, transmission, front end, running gear, and that sort of stuff onto the chassis and get it ready to go. Then they purchase a fiberglass body, similar to our nostalgia version here, which is actually the same body shape and lines as the original Myers Manx built by Bruce Myers way back in the 60s. They then mount that body on, put the upholstery in, the lights, the wiring, the windshield, and all that other stuff that you need to make it street drivable. And they have a fiberglass dune buggy that they can drive on the street or run the beaches, the sand dunes, and places like that. Typically, a fiberglass buggy is uh, mainly street drivable and then just some recreational use on sand dunes and the beaches throughout the country. All of our bodies come with the color on them. It's molded into the fiberglass and because of that, they're very easy to take care of and you don't have to worry about painting your body once you get your car built. People the world over recognize and know about dune buggies. It just seems like it's a universal car, kind of like the original Volkswagen was. It's a, it's a people's car. It's a, it's a great piece of equipment to have as your hobby and your spare car and your fun car. Uh, easy on gas, easy to take care of, just a fun vehicle. Even Barbie had a dune buggy, 